and in one age is 144,000 years. So four ages of 144,000 years makes one garden of 576,000 years. Now the four ages are compared to the four seasons of spring, summer, fall, and winter. And the first age is called the age of Simu, which is the time of creation, which is a period of 144,000 years. And now the second age is called the age of Hutu, which is the time of growth, and it is also called the Eoptian age, meaning the inhabitable time for man on earth, from his creation to his extinction, which is a period of 144,000 years. And in the third age... It's called the age of Adu, which is the time of harvest, when the earth is in barrenness and nothing can generate and grow on the planet, which is a period of 144,000 years. And the fourth age is called the age of Uz, which is the time of destruction and rest, when the earth is dissolved and it goes out of existence, which is a time period of 144,000 years to complete. <clears throat> and these are the four ages. Now, in the book of Jehovah, chapter 4, verses 15 through 17, it gives these four ages. It states, First, as vapor, the vortex carries it forth, and as it condenses, the friction engenders heat, and it is molten, becoming as a globe of fire in heaven. Then it takes its place as a newborn world, and I set it in the orbit prepared for it. Verse 16, in the next age I bring it into Simu, for it is right for the bringing forth of living creatures, and I bestow the vegetable and animal kingdoms. Verse 17, next it enters Hutu, for it is past the age of begetting, even as the living who are in dantage. Next it enters Adu, and nothing can generate upon it. Then come Uz. And then it is spirited away into the unseen realms. Thus create I and thus dissipate planets, suns, moon, and stars. So in this verse it states that all planets go through these four ages. A time of creation, a time for the living, for animal and man, and a time for barrenness where nothing can generate and grow on the planet, and a time for things to be dissolved back to its essence. And then the process starts over again in another garden. So these are the four ages that is in one garden. And keep in mind, there are eight gardens. And if you notice, it mentioned a time for man to be created and extinct as to the earth. And this time period is called the Eoptian age, which is the second age, the inhabitable time for man on earth. And I have a series called the Eoptian age, where I explain this fully. So stay tuned for that. Now, now I'm going to break down one age. So one age is 144,000 years. And half of this is 72,000 years, which is called a half age. So one age is divided into two halves of 72,000 years called half ages. Now, a half age of 72,000 years is broken down into three intervals of 24,000-year periods called Gadol periods. A Gadol has to do with the planetary decline in temperature of warmth and heat. And in the Book of Knowledge, chapter 4, verse 27, it states, By being in mastery over his person, Jehovah created countless worlds of which the corporeal earth is one and he created the living on the earth and the time was one gadol 24,000 years so in this verse it states that the living which is animal and man were created in one gadol which is a 24,000 year time period so now I'm going to break down the gadol in more detail in the series I got called the Eoptian Age. So stay tuned for that. And I'll break it down fully in that series. And that's going to be coming up soon. Now, 
Now I'm going to break down the Gadol. So now one Gadol of 24,000 years is made up of two squares. A square is a period of 12,000 years. So two squares is, is 24,000 years. One Gadol. Now I'm going to break down one square. Now one square, which is 12,000 years, is made up of four arc cycles of 3,000 years. And the name of these arc cycles are called Dana. And Dana means the times of light upon earth. So one arc cycle is a period of 3,000 years. And in the book of synopsis of 16 cycles, chapter 1, verse 2, it states, Second, the sun with his family plieth in a large circuit which is divided into 1,500 arcs, the distance of which for each arc is about 3,000 years or one cycle. So in this verse, it states that one arc cycle is 3,000 years. Now I'm going to break down an arc cycle. In one arc cycle, you have what is called seven half times. And a time is made up of 400 years, and a half time is made up of 200 years. So in seven times of 400 years is 2,800 years, and a half time of 200 years added is a total of 3,000 years, which is one arc cycle. And in the book of Osiris, son of Jehovah, chapter 6, verse 20 and 21, it states, it gives an example of these of these times and half times. And this is not the Osiris of Egypt, but the Osiris the first who came 7,000 years before the Osiris known in Egypt. And I'll explain that in another series later on, so stay tuned for that. But in the verse it states, verse 20, times and half times have I given to my real worlds and their heavens. In the time have I made a full resurrection to those who aspire to my heavens above. Nor do I go away from any place I created, saying, Go though alone for a season. But in the time I manifest new light, for such also are my creations. Think not that I give seasons to corporeal worlds only. I give seasons to atmospheric worlds also. Verse 21. Is not summer on earth half a time and winter half a time and the two one full time so created I for atmospheria a time of 400 years and a half time of 200 years and in seven times and a half created I one Danai so in this verse it states that 400 years is a time and 200 years is a half a time and it has to do with the atmospheric cycles and the resurrection of angels into the higher dwelling places within the atmosphere. And seven and a half times make one dana, which is 3,000 years. So now we're going to break down a half a time of 200 years, which is broken down to one fourth time, which is 100 years or one century. Now 100 years is made up of three generations. And now is, here's the basis of prophecy. Because in the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 3, verse 14, it states, The sum of heat and cold, the sum of light and darkness, are nearly the same, one generation with another. This was by the ancient prophets called the first rule in prophecy. This was again subdivided by 3 into 11 years, Whereof it was found that one eleven years nearly, nearly corresponded with another eleven years, and this was the second rule in prophecy. The third rule was ninety nine years, whereon to was added one year. So in this verse, it gives you the first three rules of prophecy. Now, a generation is made up of thirty three years, and every thirty three years repeats the next. 33 years and this is the first rule of prophecy so you have 33 years then you have 66 then you have 99 years which will make three generations which is 100 years a century and these rules deal with the cycles of times of light and darkness dealing with 
uh, the atmosphere amongst angels and the earth amongst humans or mortal beings. Now, a generation of 33 years is made up of 